boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Avoc TV guys, it's all in the seat again and I am sitting here with Uncle Mo. Welcome to our channel, thank Welcome you for having Holland. us. Welcome Holland. Thank you. Guys, this is um, quite, a, quite an experience for me. Those of you that do know, I am an Opel fan. I do have a black car, but this black car behind me is just completely <laughs> in another league compared to what, what I've experienced. But I mean, Uncle Mo, thanks for, for your time out. Uh, we're sitting in front of your turbocharged super boss. Yes. So not only do we have the honor of being around a bunch of super bosses, or Uncle Mo's, Mo CPT, if you might not have seen him around, but today we're going to chat about uh, the Turbo One. So please do tell us about this car. <laughs> okay, this Turbo One is a 1990 model. Okay. And uh, I purchased it from Peter Marisburg. And uh, it's about four years now. Okay. I purchased this one. And uh, it was a Turbo when it came. So oh, okay. I just uh, added on more, few more stuff onto this turbo car. So uh, is it a, a turbo bolted onto this the stock motor? Stock motor, yeah. Okay. But it's now a turbo car. Mm. There's no more stock because uh, now... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Since, uh, stock, I put my turbos stock, in yeah. and things like that. So uh, it's good fun having this car mm. uh, for speed. I can imagine. Uh, uh, yeah. It's, what, what turbo do you have on you? A GT30. GT30. I know a guy who also has a GT30, but I won't go into that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, and it runs very well. It runs. Oh, I can I can tell you one thing, that uh, if the guy is really thing when he starts up, it's very soft. Oh. You don't hear the engine, but once the engine uh, it goes on boost, then you, you realize that uh, you it's know not what. Screaming. <laughs> you got something as a screamer. <laughs> <laughs> But that's also that's also very cool to have that sort of setup, you know, the understated um, sleeper look. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks like it's a very, uh, maybe a sleeper. It can't move. Mm. But once I give uh, petrol. Okay. Yeah. And your what's your the power and the, the torque that the car is pushing out currently? Uh, no, currently I, I actually I, I never put it on a dyno. Oh, okay. It does only road tuning. Oh, okay. Road tuning. I got a buddy of mine, a personal buddy of mine. Yeah. He's known as Boot. Okay. Uh, yeah. And he only only does road tuning. She was. That's yeah. very cool. All my vehicles, all done only road tuning. Jeez. So, did you, like you mentioned to me previously, you do all the work on your cars right here, and now you also do road tuning on all your cars. Yeah, like one of my good friends, his name is Adil. Mm -hmm. um, he's a master in all this kind of things. Everything in-house. Amazing. Beside the me mechanical, like in the engineering and things, yeah. that obviously has to go out. And then RR performance, he assembled the engine and things like that. But anything else needs to be changed or anything, that's all done here yeah, in-house. Gee, well, that's quite a solid team that you have supporting all of that. Yeah. And your, what, what management are you running on this car? I'm running a Dictator. Also, 60 okay. 60 minus 2, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. 60 minus 2. Jeez, it would be quite interesting. Not that not that the dyno figures mean much, but I know a lot of guys tend to want to figure to understand where it's at. But I mean, like you're saying, that that experience on the road is something completely different. Yeah, because I prefer on the road tuning. Mm. Much I prefer, uh, because, in fact, uh, dyno, I'm not scared of a dyno, but uh, I prefer road tuning okay. on my okay. vehicles. And do you, do you put this one on the track as well? Uh, this one is going to go on the track now. 400 meter or 400 meter okay yeah that will be my white one will be on 800 uh -huh. and this one will be on a 400. she was the luxury of, of the no, tune I, I love these cars so much <laughs> that you know what i can have other cars also but these cars like havoc tv came all the way to come interview me i really appreciate that no interview trust me it's... and would you holland and your crew fadil nazir and uh, Nawal, I thank you people all for coming here out to my place and interviewing me. No, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Trust me, we we in awe. Shock in awe. <laughs> all of this. And I mean, this, but I mean, looking at this car too now, I mean, the, the interior looks pretty stock, eh? Yeah, stock. 
So you really, really dig all the sleep look at just the, the, the engine mods is basically that they can get yeah. to that next level. I keep it, I, the inside, the interior, I keep, try to keep it stock mm. the, with the rims and everything stock standard. Uh, only the engine bay, I yeah. do my modifications. Okay. We definitely must have a look under the hood to see what's going on there. Lane fast, call it high speed. I've been working hard, yeah. I've been working nightly. If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely. I be taking shots, yeah, cold blooded, icy. Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing. In the front row, run it up when they hype me. The following grows, they know how to ignite me. Call me CEO. Because I mean, even when when I got there and I looked at it, I just thought stock, stock, stock. <laughs> but now it's uh, now I'm intrigued. <laughs> yeah, no. No, that's very. Get, cool. I'm getting there slowly. Yeah, I'm getting there slowly. And are you? Were you saying you're planning on putting it on the track? Is that um, MSA that you looking to do? Uh, no, just normal tra track racing. Track, okay, I'm okay, nothing to see. Getting serious. old now, uh, can't do any more uh, MSAs. You no, know, uh, you know, just now for street. A little bit of fun on the track, on the yeah. track and street. Okay, okay, yeah. I got you. No, it'll be interested. You must keep us updated when that's happening. And and guys, I mean, if from your side. Please, if you have any questions or queries regarding these cars, if you do have an Opal, if you're an Opal fan, comment below. Um, I think Uncle Mo is a perfect person to guide and assist you with questions or queries or anything. It has a very valuable a bunch of groups and a bit of information. So, you know, do do comment. Yeah, you know? I'm actually running uh, Super Boss Owners Group South Africa. Okay. And I got my own personal um, PTY LTD. It's called Mo Super Boss Owners Group. PTY LTD, it's a registered company. Jeez, okay. So I'm full on with this uh, yeah, Opals yeah, okay. and, and Super Bosses. <laughs> biggest, biggest enthusiast around basically yeah. with <laughs> Super Bosses. I'm driving there from 1992. So you can imagine, uh, it's not something that I started driving from yesterday where I can say all the youngsters, they are most welcome to find out if they need anything and uh, yeah. I'm there to help. That's awesome, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, look, I think, I'm sitting so close to the driver's seat. I think um, it's time to go for a drive. Let's go yeah. and experience this car. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna experience it, brother. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, like Any time. If you wish to drive it, or one of your mem mem crew members want to drive it, not a problem. We'll, we'll rocks is a yeah, paper for that, but I'll that, win. I'll win on that. <laughs> it's not something that I want to keep it for myself. I can't share. No, I can share. No, that's awesome. Thank yeah. you very much for that. Thank you for your time. No, and it's let's, a pleasure. Let's go and let's go and take a drive in this car. No, we'll awesome. Do. Hey, yeah. right there, this is the different super boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now this feels familiar. <laughs> so we're back in the, we're in the black car now. The turbocharged <laughs> super boss. As you can see, I'm on the right side. I'm supposed to be sitting in the back seat. <laughs> well, we'll see how long that, how, how long that exists. But um, this one is something else. <laughs> GT30 turbo, super boss motor. Fadil, thanks for joining. <laughs> I was gonna say thanks for thanks for being the the, the non-stock driver. The non-stock driver, yeah. <laughs> I think that that's a story for another day, but we'll leave that to me. Yes. Okay, this so one's for all the Opal Superboss Turbo some... Boys, this <laughs> one's got some kick, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, this is a different boy, different animal, as you can hear. Uh huh. What is the GT30 setup? Dictator management? Yep, correct. Stock, and this stock one, super boss um, engine? Yeah, and this one will be set up for his 400, 400 meters as you correct, said. Correct, so this one will be seen on the track and then the white one is the 800 meters <coughs> of the car. Correct. So that's the long, the longer distance. That's a top end runner. This is the quarter mile boy. We're sitting here having a discussion like it is normal for him to let other people drive the car. Other people don't get to drive this car. Other people don't get to drive it. We are very, very, very privileged. Um, and we have to thank Uncle Mo again, once 100%, 100%. again. 100%. Right? Um, I mean, there's nothing, I mean, for him to put his cherished um, stuff in our hands. 
it's unbelievable and uh, sorry guys that don't get an opportunity to try these kind of things <laughs> Mickey you are missing out my friend <laughs> <laughs> yo this thing is unbelievable and um, being from the other German stable myself, yeah, yeah. admittedly, yeah. right? Um, you might have seen the car around. So yeah. Just check on our check on our channel. Click around, you'll definitely see the blue Audi somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but jeez, you know, guys, I know that uh, it's Japan versus Germany. So um, I challenge anybody watching this video to uh, let us come drive a Japanese car that rivals this German. Oh. <laughs> Luckily, yeah, this bit. We don't know the exact power figures of this car. No. I've been on it down, it's been road tuned. Correct. This is road. We can feel it's got power. <laughs> yeah. So, so there you go, guys. Any Jap Japanese guys that can uh, rival a Super Boss Turbo? Yeah. So, if you can. Uh... So, yeah, guys, like I said, I challenge you to get us a. Uh, comment, uh, comment below. Comment below, yeah. Comment. Find us a Japanese equivalent. So we're, we're talking same class guys, yeah, 2 liter 16 yeah, yeah. valve, right? Um, we have heard comments and seen comments about some Japanese cams talking about K-series. Yeah. We haven't seen any yet, so we're still waiting to <laughs> see. So if you know anything, anyone, let us know. Please do. Yeah. So, yeah. But I think now we want to go drive and experience. Oh. About five on a big table. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it gets in about five thousand, you'll get you'll get what you need. Let the camera call behind. What a, what an experience. No, this is true. You know, guys, you hear a lot about driving um, supercars, driving, you know, millions and millions of rands worth of cars just to give you an experience and all. But driving a 30 year old car exactly. that can rival some of those, exactly. it's absolutely awesome. And the only, the only difference is I'm going to jump in the air. That I think when you're sitting somewhere like this, you need that confidence behind the driver too because this is not the toy to play with. No, no not at all. Uh, it wants to be driven yeah. and it takes a, you, know, you have to respect the machinery mm. and understand that, you know, you have to drive these things. There's no real aids to assist you with when you want to, you know, gun it or whatever the case may be. Very, very awesome. Okay, guys, so Holland's having a drive now. I am driving, guys. First time I'm actually driving a car, and guess what car I get to drive with overdrive super boss. <laughs> I'm in heaven. I don't care what anyone else is. <laughs> But I must say, Fadi, I mean, you, we have chatted about this. So I do have a GT28 setup on my car. Yeah. Now, this is a very similar setup, but there's still something more raw about this. Correct. And I drove your car, and I know what your car is capable of, right? Yeah. Huh? How beautiful is that? 
How beautiful is that? This thing is something else. <laughs> power tap. Yeah. Literally just power tap. Right. No, this is something else, guys. I mean, like I was, as a as a child, I always grew up with, like I said in the interviews too, with a post of like some opal on the wall. My dad yeah. was a big opal fan. And I actually got to know the opal from Group N Racing at Kilani years ago. Mike Briggs and yeah. Mr. What's it, the Van Linda and those guys were still um, racing. And um, the Superboss is always something that was iconic. That Group N look, that old vibe. Never drove the car, never came close to knowing anybody with it. And somehow today, yeah. here we are. So now this is something else. I just want to hear that turbo go again. How much it? You could do that the whole day. I mean, you, you could do that the whole day. You could. You don't need the radio at all. Yeah, you don't need the radio. I'm listening to the turbo go. I'm listening to my turbo make music. I mean, it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. And it actually doesn't feel that laggy at all, which is... No. Yeah, it's just, it is. Yeah, absolutely. This is nice. So again, once again, guys, we have to thank Uncle Mo, 100%. Mo CPT. Uncle Mo, you are a legend. Yeah, because uh, without you, we wouldn't be able to experience this kind of thing. And um, yeah, I mean, how much more do we actually? You you, you, need, you don't need more than those guys. You know, putting yeah. such beauties in our, putting such beauties in our hands, putting his pride and joy in 100%. our hands. Um, that's why, guys, we are very privileged, um, very privileged to be able to do this with such an iconic car, such an iconic, um, you know, experience. You don't get to experience yeah. this. No, 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 not at all. Not a lot of people get to experience this kind of thing every day. Not at all. And uh, I can understand now why he's as, as enthusiastic as he is. Because <laughs> this just puts a smile on your face every day. I mean, come now. Right? It would put a smile on anybody's face. Anytime. <laughs> Smiles for days. Wants to go. <laughs> 